Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Wolfrop Bavarian and this is Crusader Kings 2 and we are back as King Holmgar of Irland or Ireland as you would say properly but of course we are in Norse so you know we just have a very strange way of pronouncing it and we have had great progress in the last couple of episodes. We are now at a point we have essentially split Scotland and are now looking towards dissolving the people here in England as well which is obviously not England, I don't know, Yilland still holding on to everything over here and Norway of course fairly strong, I tried to convert them but Fairly strong as a Norse power, and honestly, Norse for some reason has a higher moral authority than we do as uh, the Hindu faithful. Very strange, considering that, I mean, honestly, no. Most of the Hindu holy sites, if I see that correctly, are not actually under Hindu control. Are you Hindu? Oh no, you are. Ah. And yet we are solo. I guess it has to be the raiding then that brings us down so far, is it? Lost Holy Wars minus 12%. Goodness me. Alright, well, with that being said, we are making tremendous progress. And I just want to, you know, jump into that and continue onwards. Let's dissolve our levy and let's immediately declare a Holy War against this uh, fellow here, King Osit II. Probably not how you pronounce that. Let's declare the Holy War because we can immediately go in there and take another part of Scotland, further strengthening ourselves. I hope that that is going to bring us to a point where, you know, maybe in a week, maybe in five or six days, I will have wrapped this up. It should be possible, judging by the quick progress that we have made, but you never know. With CK2, everything can change rather rapidly, so I don't want to... I wouldn't want to bet on it. And, you know, with that being said, I also am recording these episodes, of course, you know, ahead of time, because I will be in Berlin when this goes live. If any of you are at PDXCon and you are there on Saturday, that is the way the day where I will be around. You know, maybe we'll see each other. I will be the man that when the new game is announced, who screams fuck yeah. So, just so you know, that is exactly what is going. Praise the Supreme, we have converted some random lady. Oh, hey, my concubine. Beautiful. She now believes in the, the true gods. Just like she should. An off Wessex converted to Hinduism. Could it be any stranger? Oh no, what is this? Oh no. <laughs> so, without the game telling me, Ross just declared war against us for Sudria, and Ross, if you remember, is incredibly strong. Insanely strong. The Methian Revolt does not actually do anything here. I mean, they are Christian, they would never want to be called in, plus, of course, they are entirely unre uh, unrelated because they're just a revolt. What do we do about this? They have 6.19k troops. Are you insane? What the hell did you mean by this, Folky? How dare you? How many troops do I have in my possession right now? Let's take a look. We have 1.4k plus 3.5k. We are almost enough to do this. And I cannot actually call this dude in because apparently he's... What is this supposed to be? So you're at war with Scotland. They called in help. Yeah, Scotland and Moray. I see. So we cannot actually recruit any other mercenaries. What am I going to do here? This is going to be a very, very tough one. I don't know if we're going to pull out here or if I'm just going to lose this entire duchy. It would be awful. It would be absolutely awful. Are you going to go to war with that one? Is there going to be a battle here? I'm not actually sure that it will be. Nope, it won't be. Oh no, they caught some of us. Not us, of course, but our friends. Dude, this is... very bad. Like, this is actually awful. Let's get you up here as well. How am I gonna win this? He's of course going to take our land down. He will not come towards Mun, which is fine. Look at this. This is just terrible. They're fighting Astorius for some reason. I guess Scotland is at war with them. I caught your Lakshmi Bupendravama Stotia. What a nice name. Has just informed me that Magni of Fief tried to recruit her in a scheme to seduce my concubine. Excuse me? Hey. Don't do that. I can't even imprison him for that. Well, apparently it's normal to just seduce the concubine of your liege lord. That's alright. Yeah, this is difficult. I will never, under no circumstances, will I have enough troops to fight this off. The Normans, or well, the wannabe Normans, are actually giving me a lot of trouble. I don't have any... See, it's not even a money issue. I just don't have any mercenaries that I can go with here. I think this is lost. I, I don't think I can answer this war. Like, just looking at it. Hmm. And where are all my troops? Why do we have zero troops? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is newly conquered. You know what? That makes sense. They're gonna wreck me. I gotta get out of here. Oh, no. They're actually coming for me. They're gonna... Yeah, they... Ah, oh, that sucks so much. That, that, that sucks so much. I'm gonna lose some land here. I guess we just took it from Scotland, so it is fairly... 
normal that it won't be here for a long time, but by God, come on, man. I gotta surrender. If I surrender, I can salvage the other war here, but if I don't surrender, then both are over. And of course, that is unacceptable. Come on. Why are you kidding me? Oh no, the Holy War. Actually, everybody joined in. That's just... I actually can't believe that I've thrown this episode this early on. Look at this. Just horrible. Actually horrible. Hmm. Yeah, okay, both of these are lost. God damn it. Well. That certainly sucked. How often do you see that here, huh? How often do you see me losing this pool uh, this badly? This was awful. So, with that being said, we are not the strongest force on the islands yet. We could go to feudalism, of course, but I think that would mainly be a negative. Looking at the numbers here, we would definitely not get as many troops. I mean, would we, though? We may be able to actually do it. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to... Take the jump into the cold water here. I'm going to turn feudal and we're going to see where it goes for our troops. Honestly, I'll take it. I, I think this is fine. Hopefully our vassals will actually go on and do the same thing. You know, if they change the feudal, we have a very decent chance of this working out. If they don't change the feudal, uh, feudal then we may be screwed. Oh lord. See, I was thrown into this. I actually haven't touched this game in like two days or something. I was thrown into this and I'm, I was looking at it and I was like, damn, I feel incredibly confident. I think we're gonna absolutely destroy everybody. And I think I made two vital mistakes here. First, I lost the war against Ross, of course, which I couldn't really stop because they attacked me. But, oh no, get out of here. But then the second one was just me probably going fuel. I don't want to say it. I want to believe that that was a good step, right? But... Can I actually believe that? Because it certainly doesn't feel like it. I think I, I will move my capital here to Winchester. Mun is not that good a province. Especially since this is not really built up. But Winchester, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's that's doing fine. It's Duchy is a fairly good one as well. You know, just a small one that we can easily keep under control if we take both of those. I think I want to move my capital here. Put it all down. Give me the technology screen, please. That is terrible. Is this actually straight up going to be the worst episode that I have released probably in months, if not more? And would you look at that, Ross just got destroyed, which is huge for us when it comes to being able to counter them in the future. But Baiga, what do you want? I don't actually... I don't really want to support you for that, sorry to tell you, mate. There are a few monasteries close by where the lay members of the Advaita Mata frequently convene. As such, it is expected that I every so often attend these meetings and that I spend a fair amount of time at these monasteries to get in touch with the monastic foundations of the order. Such a period is about to start. This is... This looks comical. I, I love it, by the way. It looks, it looks badass, but it looks comical. Man, having brought Hinduism here is one of the weirdest things that I have ever done. I, I think it's only rivaled by the, by the Norse East playthrough where we went to Mongolia as the Norse. Alright, with that being said, let's just... You know what? I think I can dab on this man. He has barely any troops. I have a, a bit more in terms of troops. The Zagrebian band, huh? Alright, you actually need to recover. I need your troops long term. Well, this is going to be close, but we do have the upper hand. The Advaita Mata is in need of more funds. I do not have the money. Get out of here. Don't ever mention that again. Oh, what did I just do here? What, what is this? Goddamn Raiders. This is terrible. I have now been at the monastery for a few days, surrounded by others who share my passion for Brahma, and yet I still find I miss having a friend. Chatra Karl. <laughs> His name is Karl, man. And myself seem to be getting along quite well, though perhaps this could blossom into a true friendship if we did something together. I'm sure he would greatly enjoy, let's say... You know, I honestly think he would probably like to dis uh, discuss a military strategy, but I don't think that Holmger wants to do that. Discussing the intricacies of managing a realm, we are not that great in that. You know what, let's just talk about the faith. We are very, very smart. We are an absolute brain genius. Our brain is wrinkled and wet. And I think it's just adequate that we talk about that. Come on. Seriously, we actually got beaten like that? Oh my god. I can't believe that a raider is doing this to me. Alright, everybody- Oh, I can't pull you back anymore. Come on. Though we had a good time, it doesn't seem that Chatrakar was too enamored with the activity I suggested. It's doubtful the seeds of our friendship will grow any further after all. God damn it. Holy moly. What is going on here? 
All right, I gotta, I gotta take you out, don't I? I could also afford it, so I think that is what we're gonna do. Those extra troops are actually gonna be a huge help in this entire thing. Oh boy. Yeah, there, there's a lot of recovering that needs to be done here. I think that is something that I can say without anybody doubting, you know, my words there. This is this has been a troublesome episode. I did want to do the conversion to feudalism just because I think sticking with, you know, just being a tribe for too long is just fairly boring. It's not something that I enjoy too much. And of course, it brings most of the negatives with it if you are going from being... I'm bringing you up, huh? So that's going to be... Uh, Faith education, even even if I'm not good at it. But, you know, if you stay a tribe, it's just not really something that I enjoy when it comes to keeping the gameplay alive. Because at the end of the day, of course it's easier, because you have more troops. That is literally as simple as it is. But I think it's just more fun to kind of, you know, try to go for... Oh, look at this. They are destroying enemies. To try for, to go for some new shores, so from, for some new adventures. So this seems about right. I don't think it was meant to hurt me, but the criticism will stung... I still stung harder than it should have. An eye for an eye. I mean, we are a cruel person, you know what? Absolutely. I will insult whoever that person did. It's one of those random events where there's no particular person saying it, we're just upset by a random event, and you know what? Let's be upset. Let's be cruel to some person. That fits the character of Holmgar most certainly. He has grown to be fairly cruel and rather zealous, you know, he goes around not treating the heathens on the islands very well. That's definitely his character at this point. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some humoral unbalance that is affecting her mood. But you know what? I actually love my wife. Queen Forbflaith of Ireland. Of course. Inspire something nice. Alright, we gotta get rid of the raiders. The actual war enemy has already been defeated by one of our vassal's rebellions, which is a very strange thing to say, seeing as they usually don't help you. In this case, though, they did. And I'm gonna take it. I, I will take whatever I can. Or would you look at this? So you just usurped this and you're a Christian who hates me. Oh, that's just terrible. You want to see it on the council? Wrong everything, of course. That's just how it is. I can't give away any of those titles until we finish the war, so just give me a minute. Just gotta clean this up. Why would you go north here? These pathing ways, I, I noticed this earlier, these pathing ways in Ireland are entirely out of control. Hello, Röhnhilde. Welcome to this world. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. You are, of course, born to the best person alive at this time. Pujari D of Kashel, as you said, the title Mandi of Kashel. That is entirely inconsequential to us. This isn't, however. Because now he is suddenly the very powerful lord that I actually thought Count Dunchard would be. His role was definitely this, and all of a sudden we have Barfind back. They are not even of the same dynasty. What do I do about you? I could imprison you because you are trying to murder this random man. I mean, that's just fitting. He falls to, you know, just wanting to murder a random man. That is such a classic CK2 move. You don't actually care about the random man. You're just like, yep, that's an imprisonment right there. And there you go, 100% through the wars over and I can actually focus on internal politics here. Yeah, I gotta get rid of you. Yeah, I'll barf in the usurper. But before we do that... I'm actually going to hand out some of these titles that we are holding. For example, the Duchy and uh, the County of Man. We most certainly don't need that anymore. Why can't I... Am I going crazy? Must have a landed title. Oh! Wait, what? Why can't I give Man away? Why would I not be able to give any uh, away any of those? Are you kidding me? What's going on here? I could give it to you, but not to this random man. Oh, I think it is, because where they are is still tribal, meaning I cannot give this tribal person a technically feudal holding, which makes no sense, because his government form should only be defined uh, defined once he goes on to, you know, be there and be actually uh, the holder of this land. But apparently, I, yeah, I don't think I can do it as long as he is feudal, which means everybody's excluded. Hmm... Yeah, literally everybody is excluded, which just means that I want to summon a noble here because he will no, uh, not be excluded. Hello, Arnbjorn. Yeah, that is one of the weirdest mechanics that I've ever seen. I'm going to give you the entire Duchy of Mun. It is just one county after all. Makes no difference to me. I could change these laws, which I think I want to do. Would I change legalism right now? No, it's not even close. So you know what? I'm going to change the laws here for centralization. Then I can keep the last title. Don't actually have to give it away. I think that's a really good idea. 
Come on, vote for it. Thank you very much. Six out of six, just exactly what I need. I'm gonna level up in our society and we just need a marshal. Honestly, I'm kind of split on this. I think I'm gonna try to make him happy before I do anything else. There he is. So he's a minus 87. I could give him... Kill there. Minus 52. Still way too negative. Wrong government type. Infidel, of course. Yeah, I don't think I can actually make him happy. I think I will have to take all of his titles away. And you know what? That's gonna be insanely hard. Because he... Why doesn't he get his allies troops? He is a uh, tribal. Oh, none of his allies would actually, you know, take his call seriously. That is perfectly fine in my eyes. In that case... Oh. Well, there you go. You just stay in prison. Easy. Ooh, this makes it easier. Our vassals will not object because he's a tribal barbarian, apparently. Oh, really? Does that alter the opinion of other tribal vassals? Wrong government type? No, it does not, actually. That is that is very fascinating. Hey, you! You're the new uh, Duke of Diflin, apparently. There you go. Alright, so apparently I can revoke from people that are tribal, which I was not aware of even until now. You know, I've played so many hours in this game, and yet there are some things that I never really realized because I never went feudal. I, I always just, you know, was like, hey, let's just stay tribal permanently. And here we are. Now I know how that works, and honestly, that changes everything for so much, so much for the better. Now I know that I could theoretically revoke every single one of these titles. Nope, not you. You know what? I don't actually... Maybe it's because he's of a different religion. And it has to be it, right? Good God, if only I knew. Hello, mayor, new daughter of mine. How are you doing? We leveled up, that is beautiful. How are you doing? Yeah, look at this. Ross is down to 3.6k troops. Still way too many, of course. But much better than it was before. Yilland is winning this war as well. Meaning that Scotland will be further embarrassed. The Rossian Holy War for Strathclyde. Oh, Jorvik. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. When was any of this conquered? Hello, Carrick. Ah. He declared primarily on Carrick, meaning that Jorvik is something that we could attack. And honestly, I think that is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to take you out. The raiding, you know, is nice and everything, but we don't really need it. I guess we it can't hurt to take down, you know, one or two provinces. That's going to be fine. But after that, we should immediately go for Jorvik here. Just the other day, skulking as I often do. I caught Magnia Fife and my courtier Ingrid in flagranti. Lost in passion, they did not notice me, but I'm still in shock. Scandalous, they must be exposed. I mean... Oh yeah, he is my rival. Why are we rivals? Who the hell are you? I've never met you, I swear to God. He's ambitious. Is he a member of our club? He's not. But he does want a different succession law. Well, he exposed. Being such an industrious ruler, you have not gone unnoticed by the population of Winchester. By paying the country uh, county elders a personal visit, they would surely be inspired and the peasants would feel particularly appreciated. A small donation would also go a long way, of course. Mm, you know what? 9.6 gold is easy money. We can do that without really losing anything or risking anything for that matter. You're not gonna come up here, are you? Sif has passed away, wasn't she? Yeah, exactly. She was at least a concubine. Oh no, the proper wife of my father. What a cool name, Sif. From Dark Souls. Definitely not the other way around. I I'm pretty sure Dark Souls invented that also. Help. Oh, I can actually get away. Damn, Asturias has a very healthy amount of troops. Look at me. I'm way weaker than Asturias. How did that happen? Well, regardless. At the very least, what I can do right now is we can actually go for Galloway and try to make, you know, get back the losses that we have experienced. And I think I could just... Oh, force vassalization. That is actually big. Will cost us 1,000 prestige, of course. But it will, you know, further our grip here on Wales and Scotland. We desperately need that if we are to found the Empire of Britannia. So let's just go with that. We can make Haukre the tenacious our vassal. That should not be an issue. And after that, I would be very surprised if we wouldn't slowly but surely actually become the, you know, dominating power in the British Isles. Right now, honestly, I still feel embarrassed by the way I have been destroyed by Ross. Oh, yeah, I hate that. There's so many people that are just raiding. Hey, Kettle. Can I just settle you directly? No, let's just negotiate with you, okay? Maybe I can give you a good position. What do you want? I have an offer for you which would ensure a lasting peace between us. Let me rule the county of West Connacht in your name and no one shall dare to touch it again. 
Ah. Chieftess Arok is actually somebody that I really like because we conquered her. I remember her in particular. We conquered her and then we pushed a claim for her and after that she just loved us. She never was against us ever again. If I give her a title away, that would be terrible. But then again, look at this. I mean, my character, you know, I personally as a player, I remember her. But apparently she married the wrong cast because he doesn't have a cast at all. Count Colwulf of Bath is literally just an Anglo-Saxon heathen. So you know what? West Connacht is a fine county indeed. It can be yours for the right pri uh, right price. Yeah, give you the money. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna gladly lose the prestige, and she will no longer like me. But hey, marry the wrong cast. Get out of here. Rules are very very important here for our, you know, staunch religious, staunch zealous man. I think this makes perfect sense. Uh, I would be a fool not to accept such a generous offer. I will proudly serve as your vassal, and West Connacht shall prosper in my care. That I swear. Thanks for the money, dude. And he comes with these 2.5k free troops. If we were still tribal, that would actually be an insane help. But even so, I can't really complain. I mean, you know, look at this. Yeah, I, I lost those by accident. That's okay. Let's seclude ourselves. Look at this. With that dude being there, and he should convert fairly soon. At least they usually do. If he doesn't convert, that is fine. But with that dude there, we are well protected, at least in the west of Ireland. Regency is over. I have returned and I may, be may become diligent. I did not. Well, you know. That's just the way uh, you're used to it, I guess. Why don't you go over here? Alright, everybody meet up. We're gonna cross the sea over here. I don't know why Jorvik just stands there in all seriousness. Not a very good defense mechanism. Oh, now they're actually leaving. Now that I'm coming. And he's unwilling to convert. Interesting. You usually do not see this, but... In this case, I guess, because he doesn't like me enough, he's just like, nah, dude, I'm good. Let's just make sure that he doesn't rebel, because he does have more troops than I actually have. And we're gonna have another duke here, and I feel like it's it gotta be you. I mean, everybody else just hates me for some reason. He's my rival, yeah. You know what? Hello there, Strathern. Duke of Albany. Maybe he's gonna conquer Scotland all by himself. I would, you know, I, I wish him the best. And maybe he will actually succeed. I need my vassals to generally, I think, be more aggressive. None of them have conquered anything. I have done all the conquering and of course, it's not how that is supposed to go. And I don't like that siege one bit. I do not even have enough boats. Are you kidding me? How long does this, uh, is this going to take? Oh, very long. You know what? I can actually march down there. I was worried that I wouldn't be there in time, but at just 6.1% uh, per tick, we're going to be fine. What name is this? Ion Cheneo smiles at you. My liege, I have noticed your mind seems to drift off whenever we discuss monetary issues. I believe that to make things interesting, one must be introduced to the subject where it is directly relevant to oneself. Perhaps you would like to join me tomorrow on a full day's work? But like this man? Absolutely not. You're a Christian. Get out of here. You must be joking. I have better things to do. Ion Cheneo starts the day off by collecting- Excuse me? I said no. Why am I there? Some people frown and complain when they give away their earnings. Ian Cheneos uh, calmly explains why taxes are collected and manages to appease the complainers. Listen, I literally did not go with you. Why, why are you taking me with you here? Are we greedy or honest? Apparently now I have to pick up one of the two. I feel like we paid for our wife and whatnot. You know what, we're not greedy. Let's just be honest. It's bad for our intrigue stat, of course, but I think it fits this character a bit more. Today, Ian Cheneos brings uh, you to the nearest construct uh, construction site to evaluate progress. Ion Cheneo notices that the builders are lagging behind the agreed schedule and proceeds to question them. The builders complain about the weather and want more pay to cover the delays. Ion Cheneo looks over your way, awaiting a response. Is insane. What, you know, I'm not actually sure what is going on here because apparently I'm going with an insane man that I told I wouldn't be going with him. We will hold our end of the deal when you hold yours. That sounds something that he would definitely say. A friend has come to visit Ion Cheneo this evening. The three of you have a good time discussing your experiences over a fine evening meal. The visitor nods uh, at you, saying, How oh, lucky you are, Ingenieur, to have a liege that understands your work. This cooperation should benefit the both of you. Ooh. It's been interesting. More so than many other things I've tried. Dude, picking up just here is huge. Actually huge. I'm not even I'm not even gonna complain about that. This this weirdo pulled me with him to this tax collector business. Me, the king. You know what? I'm thankful for it. I have learned so much more than I could have ever anticipated. Now what I do want to do is I want to prop up this band because so far they are incredibly weak. I will also send you there so that, you know, 
We just have somebody that is actually of our religion, and then I would like to go on. Oh, I can't actually send equipment because they are currently uh, raised, which is fine. But I will give them more troops when the time comes, because I think that is our only chance to ever stand up against, you know, Ross and the like. Because otherwise we will never be able to raise the actual amount of troops that would be required. Joel, learn something about etiquette. That's okay. I'm gonna retake that. We're gonna be fine here. And yet we are, of course, still looking at some giants that could easily crush me. I mean, look at Yilland alone. They have a total amount of, what... 4.3k troops. Scotland, how many do you have? Oh, Scotland is actually absolutely screwed. Even weaker than we are. Now that we are feudal, look at this. We are bouncing back when it comes to the troop amount. Recovering much quicker than we were before. Now, he will retake this. I will actually be fine with it because I can just retake it in a, in a matter of seconds. One day as I'm sitting with my daughter Ilyana, I decided I should hear a show an excerpt from the four Purusatas in the hopes of teaching her the way of Vishnu. She's very attentive, and I'm sure she will grow up to join me in the Advaita Mata. Very nice. Us being a member there gives her huge benefits. In this a ten uh, a million times before, so let's not even worry about it. Bringing the true faith and salvation to others is among the holiest of duties. Therefore, we ask you to construct a new temple in your lands. How much would that cost me? No, if if I can build it here. Man, this is so much money. I don't actually know if I can, if I want to do it. I definitely, oh my god, what is this supposed to be? I think we definitely can do it, but at the same time, I don't think I want to. So you know what? There you go. You're unlucky. No temple for you. Ask somebody with more money. There you go. Easy. Take him out. That was worth it. Don't even add me. Absolutely worth it. Uh, you're never going to hold a title here. Aurel, on the other hand, will hold a title. Thank you very much. We can't go legalism. I want to go military organization. That is one of the most important things that I can go with. And I also want to go ahead and actually, you know, what about uh, pushing our technology rate up just a bit? We could go with trained troops. And honestly, it's probably the more beneficial uh, move there that I could have done. But at the end of the day, I think it is more vital to have all the technology that I can have. While also, of course, leaving our plots uh, discovered. That's why I don't actually move in here for the study technology, you know, the stealing technology from somebody. But I do want more when it comes to technology also. Hey, who's the one that I'm mad at? You. You will be excluded from this and then I still want to sell the rest. There you go, easy money. Oh wow, and Albany has actually come back to us. I mean, that was foreseeable, all things considered. I'm still young, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna give that out. Usually you could say, hey, maybe you don't want to hold on to it. Maybe you want to, or maybe you do want to hold on to it. You know, just so that you can then go on and uh, give it to a new person once you've passed away. But we're only 27. You know, this king needs to think of his own relationship with his vassals. Not of the relationship that his son, oh yeah, we do have a son, that his son will have with his vassals. It's Sigurd and our proper wife hasn't even given us a single uh, son. Yeah, two daughters. That's disappointing because none of them can actually inherit. Which will definitely split, uh, split our realm when it comes to this. Jesus, that is bad news. But everybody is at least voting for the primary, eh? Let's take out Jorvik proper. In the hope that we can actually imprison somebody and finish this war quickly. So that we can also at the same time, of course, wrap up this episode. That is the dream. Let's hope that I can actually fulfill it. Please, let me imprison anybody. Nope, but we got the Varangian Guard. Kalinikos, the great king of the Greeks, is distraught over the poor metal of his countrymen. Knowing well our skill in battle, he has decided to form a bodyguard consisting solely of Norse warriors. Those who serve him in the great city of Miklagard are generously rewarded, and even now many of our young men, eager for riches and adventure, have departed for Greece to pick up his banner. Nice. That's a bit late, isn't it? 9.13. I thought it would usually be uh, a bit earlier. Please make me diligent. Thank you very much. Nope. Add. The fun thing about that is actually um, that I'm pretty sure, despite us being Hindu, as long as we are of the wrong, uh, the correct culture, our sons can also join, there you are, can also join the Varangian Guard, which would be huge. That can give you so many benefits. It can also absolutely destroy your sons and, you know, make them into eunuchs and whatnot. But at the same time, I think it is worth taking the risk. I, I would take the risk 100% of the time. 
Alright, there you go. We uh, destroyed them right here. I just want to take out this province yet again. Hmm. I want to teach you myself, I think, an etiquette. Maybe warfare would be, or, you know, struggle would be more important, but... I think it's fine the way it is. Hello, dear. An actual son from a primary wife. Now, that is good news. I'm gonna vote for him immediately. I hope anybody... I hope the others are also gonna... Wait, I can't? Maybe not yet. I'm pretty sure we will be able to vote for him. That is our primary son. You know, like... Come on, man. Don't just not let me vote for him. Are you crazy? Go over there. Um, what do you want? Olaf. Let's do etiquette. That's okay. What are these factions? Don't you dare. How, why would you join there? You actually like me. In what world would you do this? And also, he did actually reconvert to Catholicism. That is ridiculous. Genuinely just really stupid. Um, can I usurp this? Why can't I usurp this? Because I'm at war? Because he's at war? Ah, okay. It needs to be until 9.16. That's okay. What we definitely will do here, and I know we're already 30 minutes in, but I will most certainly take out uh, and finish this war. Because then in the next episode, we will be able to pick up at a point where I should at least be able... Ooh, look at that. Twins. None of which are geniuses. Uh, where we should at least be able to challenge either Norway or Yiland, maybe both. Preferably both, of course, but... Honestly, the, the Ross thing still, it, it just doesn't sit right with me. The fact that I got beaten up by that fellow over here and he is... Oh my god, where does he get these troops from? Are you kidding me? Oh, is this true? Are they actually reinforcing event spawn troops? And unless I wipe them fully, they will reinforce every single goddamn time. Oh, that is, that is not okay. That is going to be very, very rough. And are you actually serious? So you want independence. I mean, first of all, absolutely not. Are, are you... Why are they... Why are you doing this? I can't hire anybody because they're all already hired. Oh, this is just terrible. Um... I mean, I will obviously not be blackmailed. I think, you know, that is quite obvious. Um... This is rough. Uh, this is very, very rough because I can't hire any of those. You are too tiny and I also can't hire you, so it gets even worse. And of course, the man that is rebelling right here is... Well, somebody that should be our friend. You know, he... I gave him- I gave him the land. Are you kidding me? Definitely hire them. You know, you gotta start somewhere, but this... Oof. We had such a strong start, and right now the game is really throwing some sticks between my legs. Whether we can get out of this tomorrow, that, you know, is to be seen. I will see you in the next episode, and I want to thank Herman and Benedict. Thank you for being members on the channel. It really means a lot. Uh, if you want to support the channel, then you can check out the members section or you can check out the Paradox store link that is in the description. If you buy something there, you also support the channel directly. And with that, I want to say thank you and later, alligator.